Okay, so now we've learned the, the basics of uh, how to pour. Okay, so uh, like we said, we come up at a 45 degree angle and we cut. Pour, 45 degree angle, cut by turning and pour. And now we want to do a, a continuous pour. So say you have somebody that orders a, a rum and coke and a rum and diet coke, for example. So they're both rum. Okay, I don't want to stop and then pour again and stop. Okay, I want to do one, two, okay, in, in one fluid motion. We grab our glasses here, one continuous motion, fill them up with ice. Up here, grab the bottle at the same time as you grab the glass. Flip the, gra the glass around. The bottle comes up 45 degree angle. Once it's at finger length from the top, you pour it and continue to pour in the glass. The last one you cut like before. Okay? So again, you're going from here and you flip at the same time. You bring the, the bottle up at a 45 degree angle. Pour, back up, and the second one you cut. Pour. Okay? So the first one, you are pouring to about a finger length from the top. Okay? About a finger length. You're stopping the pour. And then you're pouring in and continuing to pour until this shot glass comes back up again. Okay? There's two reasons for doing this. The, the first one is that if you fill it to the top and you pour, you have to stop the pour of the bottle. So you want to continue the pour. That's the whole purpose of this. So you continue the pour, but you don't want to over serve. You don't want to serve more than one ounce. Right? So that's why you stop about a finger length from the top. And in addition to only pouring one ounce, it also looks like you're giving a lot more than one ounce. You're giving a little extra to the customer because they see what they think is an ounce going in, and then they see a little bit of an overpour. Okay? So again, we'll try that one more time. Your two empty glasses, fill it with ice up. At the same time, flip this around. The bottle comes up, 45 degree angle. One finger from the top, pour. The second one right to the top. Turn and pour it inside. Okay? And remember, you have to pour close to the glass so you don't spill off the ice. Okay? And then with one hand you're going to grab the gun and the other hand you're going to grab something else, the straws or the garnish. Okay? I start with the straws. So say we have here is a vodka coke, here is a vodka crayon, and the two straws. Okay? And then I'm going to grab two garnishes, again using both hands, always use two hands, split the lime as I'm coming up, okay? and then the lemon is a little easier to put on. So here you are, sir, or ma'am, your rum and coke and a vodka crayon.